Hello and welcome back to Red Mains. It's been a while. We've been busy, which is good. We're opening, we're getting back together. Um, what I'm going to try to explain to you today is um, the famous or the infamous three roll to two style um, of coat cutting. And a little bit about the history about it and how it came about and how we present it and how other people present it and my opinion on why it's there and why it should be there or perhaps why it shouldn't be there um, and remember it's my opinion um, but it'll hopefully be interesting for you to get a little bit of the background and if you know the background of how this style materialized then it'll probably make a lot more sense to you um, because I, I you know we get new clients and I point it out to them and they are rightly somewhat confused what is a three roll to two is it you know three buttons why is it rolling to the second button and such like um, so look we're gonna try and clarify that stick around hopefully enjoy right welcome to the cutting board I have quickly drafted out a, a very simple four part on this this old piece of tweed. I use this piece of tweed to cut my patterns on. So there's lots of lines on it, but it hopefully will be clear enough for you. So let's just talk about this very simply. We are talking the style of a single breasted coat. It is a, is it are you going to have a two button or are you going to have a three button or are you going to have a three roll to two? Okay? I know you can have a one button. That's not what we're talking about. It's either going to be a three roll to two, okay, or a traditional three button. So first of all, we have to look at how it affects the pattern and the fit, okay? So you can see this basic draft here. It's just roughly done. I've marked three button positions, a pretty standard type of thing, but I just want to explain it to you like this. A two button coat, okay, there are different styles of coats where they're more crooked and straight and that have more material in the front edge. We'll try to ignore that. But a two button coat generally is more open, has a longer line, and that's why a lot of people like that look. It's very traditional, okay, you get a nice V shape. The three button style or you know, hacking style as they call it is a little bit, bit less formal and you used to always see on more the equestrian side of garments and the sporting side of garments. Okay, Over periods of time these things amalgamate, different things come in, slanted pockets on formal suits where you never used to get them and all sorts of things like that. But from a very simple technical point of view if you look at this pattern this old yardstick of mine we're going to use to simulate what we call the break line and the break line is the the line of the lapel okay it's where your lapel would fall back now if we look on this diagram here here's a two button position which should be in the waist always see really if we put the break line on there and we set it as if we were cutting a two button coat what I want you to notice is the coverage across the chest from that brake line. So if I put my old tape measure on there, and we do that basically across this chest, and I'm going to speak in old money, and if you don't understand, you'll have to work it out. It's about seven and three eighths of an inch, seven and a half inches. Okay, so that's the coverage of the chest to the brake line with a two button coat. Now then, if I swing my brake line up to a three button coat the distance across the chest has now jumped up to nine inches okay you can see that in the demonstration and it adds up so for want of a better word it's the positioning of the cloth and the brake allows more coverage across the chest that is an important thing to think about when you're fitting somebody not only just in the fit but in the style all right so in very simple terms you're going to say to yourself well two button is more open more of a v-shape has less across the chest visually okay 
and uh, it is perhaps a slightly cleaner look. The three button changes the dynamic. So that would be very simple if we made three button coats that sat up like this, which a lot of people do. Now we have to try to work out what this three roll to two is, where it came from, how did it come about, and what are the benefits of it, if there are any benefits. Okay, so now we're going to go into the other room and we're going to discuss that. Okay, we've moved into the back fitting room because I brought it here for a little history lesson, a little history lesson. As you know, I spent a number of years at Anderson and Shepherd, and the, the, there are different companies around the world that will all lay claim to various things and, you know, good luck to them. And, you know, I'm not here to argue or disprove anything. But at Anderson and Shepherd, one of the styles points of the garments was that they made the internal canvas, and for those of you who aren't clear, I'll try and show that a bit later, they cut the internal canvas of the coats on the bias, so basically at an angle, all right? So they didn't cut it in, totally in straight in line with the cloth as the wood, the fore part, the canvas inside was cut on an angle. And the reason for that was, it gives it a little bit of stretch and give. If you get a piece of fabric, you pull it lengthways, widthways, it won't give. Pull it diagonally, you'll see it'll stretch, okay? so. It allowed the canvas more ability to move and fall in and mold into your body and it does and it works because we do it and it and it adds a different dimension but it also brings other characteristics to the coat um, I as you can probably imagine quite like these other characteristics some people do not and it's quite difficult commercially you have to balance it the upshot of it is because of this style issue an Anderson coat would often get this very elongated roll okay it's because of the canvas it's not coming straight straight across it's angled and it would often elongate through I have a quote here that I'm going to show you and you're going to see it on the um, hanger and it's going to look like a dishcloth really but it is beautiful to wear, it's just wonderful to wear. This what I'm wearing <coughs> is a bespoke garment. It is a three roll to two. The reason why it is rolling through are twofold. We put our brake line so that it comes through the top button, so that you could say we've done that on purpose. But the other reason is how the collar is set and the way the canvas is. So it has this soft look and with a bit of wear and beating up, it almost will do this all the way through, which is where the old Anderson cardigan effect came from, okay? So the upshot of what I'm trying to say to you is, people would have a three button coat made because of the make, it would start to roll through because of the soft make. That is why we do it. It's part and parcel of lots of other dynamics going on. We don't force it to the second button. And this is the point of this video. If you, if you look at the way we do our bespoke, our brake line softly comes into here. It's very soft. Because of the way we had cut the canvas, you get this look. You don't have to like this look. I know there are people saying, I don't like the look. It looks floppy, it looks like a cardigan. Well, that's fine, that's what we do. Because it became quite fashionable, what people started to do is, they say, well, okay, uh, we can do three roll to two. So what they do is they literally put the three buttons in and the three buttonholes, but they make a two button coat so if you look at them it's properly forced I should do it this way I guess to a button two position okay so it's a similar look but the reasoning for how it derived and, and became that appearance is totally different 
then you have separate little add-ons that come into it so this is a bespoke it's made the way we make it and these buttonholes are put in by hand by our finisher and he or she has no intention of doing anything different than just putting in three buttonholes but if you look at a lot of made to measures and even some bespoke they double work the top buttonhole because it rolls out it's visual okay because buttonholes have a face side and a reverse side and the reverse side as you can imagine is probably not as attractive as this side when we do our bespoke we don't care okay we put a nice buttonhole in it rolls through you see the reverse side because it's a characteristic of our tailoring we don't say everything's going to be three roll to two we manufacture it to the second button because people do that it's forced and then what they do is they don't like or customers often don't like seeing the reverse of a buttonhole so then what they do is they double work it okay uh, a lot of the Italian tailoring you see it so they double work the top buttonhole so that it looks like a beautiful hand buttonhole there and on the face side here <coughs> excuse me remember I said this is about my opinion I don't like that because there's two reasons why I don't like it two <coughs> it is not a soft coat that is rolling through naturally it's been engineered okay so that's a bit of the romance has gone straight away secondly you double work a buttonhole it gets really stiff I mean it just does it gets really stiff and it affects this roll here okay um, it's only a, a minor point but when you come to press it and everything it, there's like a stiff bar here and it is just not natural so what am I saying what's the upshot of all this to my mind that three roll to two came because of the history and the origin of the garment and its make okay where the objective was to make a soft comfortable coat it has its pluses it has its minuses then as it became fashionable people who do not make the rest of the garment that way have engineered it to do a three roll to two and that's when they do these separate details like double working buttonholes and such like which is not what we do in our bespoke we do have some clients and we take the gimp out who do like to see a face side here so it'll often be um, quite literally the buttonhole the top buttonhole will be turned the opposite way around okay it, it's okay to do that I can understand why people perhaps don't like to see the reverse side personally speaking I don't care it's I like that softness so we're gonna look a couple of examples as I said this style of make is not for everybody and it doesn't have to be for everybody this is you can see this is kind of rolling through a little bit but I'm going to show you this coat um, which Peter made for me and I love it it's probably my favorite coat at the moment but I'm going to show you on a on a coat hanger and you'll laugh actually because you'll say you know this guy's trying to sell suits but stick with me all right so let's have a look so here you have it what a masterpiece does that look like a masterpiece on there I know what you're saying it doesn't look like a masterpiece at all well quite honestly for a bespoke garment it is a masterpiece it's a beautiful coat can you see what I said when I said about the style and the make and co commercial arguments come into things you imagine you're selling suits in a shop and they get put on mannequins and people pick them up on hangers they don't, they don't, nobody wants to see anything like this okay this is not a three roll to two but to prove my point regarding our make look it's a two button but look what's happening here see how this is rolling right through it's because of the very soft bridling the, the canvas on the bias and it's the nature of the make this is my coat and um, Peter made it for me last year I think it's a Holland and Sherry mesh blazer in it it's just so comfortable and I'm gonna pull it on and I hopefully hopefully you can see what I'm talking about okay so this is not 
engineered and designed to do this rolling through, it is the character of the code. Okay, so let's have a look. Now then, so this is not a three roll to two, but it backs up what I was trying to explain to you about how we get that three roll to two look. So this is a two button, okay? But look what's going on, okay? It is super soft and comfortable. And if I pull my stomach in and fasten it, it sits there nicely. Hope it looks nice to you. It feels wonderful, this coat. This is really one of my favorite. It's a shade light in the blue, so it's not appropriate everywhere. I like wearing it. Now, you can see it as plain as day. It's made as a two button, but because of the make, we are getting that look, okay? So to my mind, this is where a three roll to two came from. It wasn't engineered to do that. It's a characteristic of the make. Going back to a slight technical detail, I like a three roll to two because remember when I showed you at the cutting board how we're cutting more lapel on there, we're getting more width. It just helps with this look, okay? So, with a combination of the cut, a combination of the make, you get a different look, you get a characteristic look, and a, more than anything, you get a lovely coat to wear. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna point out a couple of little things. So here's a little um, pointing case. It's a made-to-measure garment, and uh, it's a very nice garment, but if you look, it's quite interesting. You've got face side, face side, reverse side, okay? Um, and then the reason for it is, is when it rolls through, the nicer side of the buttonhole is facing outwards. This client likes it like that. It's not double worked. If we double worked, it would be terrible. But you see my point? He, he's just had the face side there, and then if you look at it in the facing, you can see very clearly that is worked and they're the normal position. All right. So hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully you haven't fallen asleep. My dog has fallen asleep. He's been so gripped by my um, edu educational videos. What can you do? Nigel's woken up. I hope you didn't fall asleep. You now know the why, the where it came from, the reasoning behind it, the three roll to two. I hope that explanation helped. Um, thank you so much for dropping in. Do follow us on Instagram at Redmain. Um, if you'd like to go to the blog, Savile Row Tales, you will find a little bit more reading in depth with this video and other videos. Do subscribe and um, thanks for dropping in. Take care. Bye-bye.